Do you guys want to be level 500 by the end of this season without doing a single thing? Well, make sure to sit back and watch this video because trust me, guys, this is the easiest XP in Fortnite. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. In today's video, we do have a creative XP glitch that is better than any form of leveling ever inside of Fortnite. Maybe it's not the most amount of XP, but but I've got to say, it's the most amount of XP for the least amount of effort. This is by far the most attractive way to level up. And honestly, I don't even want to grind levels anymore because I know this exists. If you want easy and free XP, all you need to do is load up into a game of Fortnite, go into creative, non-fill by the way, and you will get 6,300 XP per 15 minutes. You don't have to move around or anything just leave fortnite open and go enjoy your life outside this video idea comes from none other than talikin who's been using this strat this season and he is already over i think about level 220 so make sure to go check him out guys his link will be in the description if you guys could make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe and guys use my code cobes mind in the item shop if you guys aren't supporting anyone already i would definitely appreciate it if you guys end up using it make sure to tell me in the comment section down below also guys i am grinding levels over on twitch if you guys want to go check me out i am currently level 185 and i did unlock the rainbow thor so make sure to go in the link in the description click on my twitch link use your twitch prime drop me a follow whatever you guys got to do check me out i will be streaming today so there are 96 days in this season. The well-known data miner Hypix leak this season would end on November 30th. I have no doubt in my mind that most of you will be able to finish this season at level 220 just based on how long it lasts. But if you want to reach a little bit higher than that or just put no effort into this game and still get the skins, this video is for you. So let me make this clear guys, all you have to do is go into creative and sit there, leave Fortnite open. I'm pretty sure you can be tabbed out if you do have two monitors and go do something else on your other computer. You can go play a different game, you can go do anything for the four hours. For me, if I'm home and I'm not playing the game, I set a timer for four hours so I can end up getting these levels and then once the game ends, then I can start up a new one. But I do have an interesting question for you guys. What if you never played Fortnite, but you just sat in creative for the XP? Well, you get 6,300 XP every 15 minutes and 25,200 XP every hour. If you were able to do that all day, you'd get 604,800 XP in one day. But let's say you were to do it all season, every single hour of the day. Well, you just have to refresh it after four hours. You would end up at 58,060,800 XP from just sitting in creative. And if we look at the XP chart, that would mean you'd be one level off 500 right at level 499. How insane is that? If you grinded XP even a little bit here and there, you would easily be over level 500 this season. Sadly enough, I think this may be one of the best forms of XP for all players this season. You could be a top level player by not playing this season. I truly believe that there will be someone who is level 700 because there is 96 days in this season without a delay. If there is a delay, who knows, maybe if it's like a month long, someone's going to get over 800, but tr mark my words, trust me, someone will get over 700 this season. The player Rage's Revenge is already level 265. I'm assuming he has multiple people playing on his account, but maybe he plays for about like 18 hours a day 16 to 18 i'll say and then he does this that wouldn't be all that surprising and it would be possible for a solo player in my opinion after learning about this to be level 265 at this moment 
He did upload that video two days ago, so he might be anywhere from 280 to 290 at this point. But still, it goes to show you that some people have more information about this game than others. And I just recently learned about this through Talikin, but maybe Rage's Revenge knows a little bit more than us about XP. I also did want to say that if you were to do this in Chapter 2 Season 2, if it was possible, I think it was a little bit different, you would have gotten the Golden Peely. I don't know why Epic Games decided to do it this way this season. I think overall XP this season is pretty garbage. I don't think anyone denies that, but why is it so good in creative when you can just sit there and do nothing? So I don't know exactly Epic Games' intention behind this, but I've got to say, I do think that creative players should end up getting XP because even if you just play creative and you don't do this, you'd probably end up getting to level 100 by the end of the season if you play like an hour a day. So for a lot of people, they might be wondering, well, maybe I don't want to get to 220. I don't want to have to sit there and do this every single day, all the time around the clock. And I know for a lot of you players out there, you probably already get XP. XP here and there. You end up doing your challenges, you end up doing the daily challenges or the daily quick challenges. But let's say you were to not play this game, all you would have to do is once per day, log into Fortnite, go into creative, and sit there for one four hour session and you would end up being level 220. So if you guys don't really play this game all that much anymore and you want to end up doing this but you don't want to keep your PC on all day or your Xbox on all day or your PS4 whatever you're playing on all you have to do is one four hour session that's it one four hour session per day even a little bit less than that so I mean that's your nice security blanket it's actually 3.84 hours per day so to think by the end of the season people are easily going to be able to unlock the level 220 reward without any problems all they have to do is go into creative four hours a day once per day that is mind-boggling guys you're gonna have to tell me what you think about that thank you guys so much for watching this video i really am excited to see who will be the highest level player this season and i truly believe someone will be level 700 or above and most likely it will be rage's revenge i also think talikin could get above 700 this season i mean how long has this season been out he's already over 220 and he just recently learned about this xp glitch so i feel like he's just gonna get over level 700 too i hope you guys have a good day make sure to use my code cobes mine drop a like subscribe i will see you guys in the next one have a good one guys bye okay <laughs> I can't do this. They are currently roasting me in my chat. I don't know why. Guys, come roast me in my chat. Watch me try to fail and record a video. Drop me a Twitch Prime. I know you guys have some. Wait, you guys.